And now the response from the class of 2010. I'm happy to introduce Matt Robin to deliver this afternoon's student address. Matt earned a bachelor's degree from the Coordinated Program in Nutrition in December. He graduated with a 3.7 GPA and quickly passed his registration exam. He is now practicing as a registered dietitian. This is the cool part about Matt. Beyond his academic success, Matt is a trained circus performer. <laughs> he volunteers with a youth program called Cirque. His name? Yes, that is Cirque. Did y'all get the play on words? Okay, work it. Okay. <laughs> Teaching circus and social skills to inner city youth and entertaining sick children at area hospitals. He is also a volunteer diver at Chicago Shed Aquarium. On top of all of this, he works as a personal trainer, integrating nutrition education into his practice. The physicality of his various interests led him to a curiosity about how to fuel the body, keep it healthy, and that curiosity led him to our nutrition program. We couldn't be happier to have this young man linked to our college. And I, I did not write this, but this is the truth. You're going to see this guy's name in lights. Matt Rogan. Adjust microphone. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Picture everyone naked. <laughs> You know, interestingly, to decide who got to speak first, I uh, challenged Christina Rapati to an arm wrestling match. And let's just say one of us left the table crying with our arm hurting. <laughs> it wasn't her. <laughs> this is a big moment for many of us. and marks the conclusion of one chapter in the story of our lives. Thank you all for coming out today in support of this. And I would especially like to thank Chancellor Alan Mears, Dean Tate, Vice President Rao, Associate Dean Arts, and our distinguished guests. I would also like to thank our esteemed faculty as well as my fellow students, and of course the rest of you, our family and friends. The College of Applied Health Sciences is comprised of five departments, Biomedical and Health Information Sciences, Disability and Human Development, Occupational Therapy, Physical Therapy, Kinesiology, and Nutrition. Nutrition. Now that's my game. I would like to start at the beginning of that chapter. A tattooed lady, a circus performer, and a state's attorney walk into a classroom. What sounds like the start of the joke was merely day one of intro to food science. Almost three years later, we're sitting here graduating with a degree in human nutrition, which, for those of you who don't know, means that we spent our time in college to be credentialed to tell you what you should and shouldn't eat. Fun at every social event. Let me tell you, <laughs> and can be summed up with the following statements. Artichokes good, deep fried food bad, and tasty, and okay in moderation, especially if they are deep fried artichokes. <laughs> All jokes aside, many of us in the Applied Health Sciences left previous careers where we were successful, but didn't quite get the feeling that what we were doing was going to make much of a difference in the lives of others. Some of us are just starting our careers, but I postulate that we all came to UIC to work in our professions for one reason, to make a difference. We came here and were taught by leaders in their fields who helped us to feel and see how we can fit in the picture of our profession. I would imagine it's the same across all programs. You take classes that seem like they have no relevance to what you want to do, and then somehow, as you start to grasp the bigger picture, you start to appreciate all of those teachers who taught you all of those ideas. And just like reading an individual chapter out of a book doesn't quite make sense, when placed back in the context of the whole book, the story has a purpose. Never before have more people across the planet realized that keeping themselves healthy is the way to attain longevity. And whether it's preventing an outcome or rehabilitating after a life-changing event happens, we are all here to make changes that ch those changes do happen. And with the changes that we do have here, we can all help make sure, along with you, that this book can end with a fairy tale ending, and they all live happily ever after. Congratulations, class of 2010. Thank you. 